So we just picked up this 1998 Stewart and Stevenson 1079A and we're on the parkway headed back to Hickory and Jess is getting ready to take it for a drive. What do you think? Let's see how they go. Alright baby. So you drive this beast. Good. All right, I'm ready. All right, seat belts right there. The seat sliders on the left. All right, All right you got the seat where you want it. Yeah, I think so. All right, right there. See the red button on the dash. In the tunnel. In the tunnel. This is frying pan tunnel. This is one of the tunnels that we take on the Overlander expedition. Hey folks, John here from Overlander Project. I uh, just wanted to introduce Stewie, our uh, new to us, 1998 Stuart Stevenson 1079. I uh, just picked it up today. A guy in Asheville had it. I think he bought it from Virginia. Anyway, we want to turn it into like a world-class expedition rig. That's the plan anyway. Um, these guys, been out for a while a lot of people converting them um, you know ex-military kind of thing the LMTV which is light medium tactical vehicle this unit the 1079 tipping the scales right at 20,000 pounds it's eight feet wide a little tad or a tad over 11 and a half feet tall um, They've got like a 7.8 to one final reduction. Um, it has a two to one reduction uh, planetaries in the hubs, which is kind of cool. 46 inch, or excuse me, 47 inch tires. Uh, this one has the Michelin XELs, which are uh, XMLs rather. That's specific to the military. Um, they got air brakes. All that normal stuff, super heavy duty. Mm, what else? I think they have a fording depth of like four or five feet. That's the intake up there, if you can see. It's pretty cool. They have the uh, the oil transmission and antifreeze fields right here. Um, the Al it's a seven speed Allison automatic transmission and it takes motor oil, just like the engine. So I guess they did that so that the soldiers wouldn't um, make a mistake, put the wrong fluid. Um, three air tanks, um, yada, yada, yada. It's got high, high exhaust. That's an air dryer. All that's factory stuff. Uh, check this out. This is pretty cool. It's got a high pinion rear diff. I mean, who does that? That's super cool. Uh, we got this inspiration to do this from Michael Ladden at Drive the Globe. I don't know if you pay attention to this world, but his is the real nice orange unit. Uh, he does all the expos, uh, Overland Expos. He put like an additional five feet off the back with like a 45 cut. Makes it not so boxy. Uh, there's another guy, Broke Overland. He's done the best job on youtube with his um with his channel he's like recorded everything and then another fella jeffco he's done well i think we're gonna take you know a combination of all their ideas and make it our own the spare tire it has its own little air over hydraulic hoist so you just pull this up right here pull that down rather it's just a push of a button and uh, it'll lift it down, let's undo it. Bam, you're on the road. These trucks came factory with a central tire inflation system, CTIS. Uh, I guess what I've been reading, they've been super problematic, um, but it, that's important for us. 
you know, go off road and you zip down the air pressure. Uh, this unit has an air, actual air conditioning and heater heating unit up there. That little thing right there is the muffler. Don't know how it works. We're going to figure it out and see if we can keep it. If not, we'll do something else. All right, I'm going to let Jessica take you guys inside, show you the inside. These come with their own aluminum staircase and handrail. That's all hangs on the back door. We've looked at four or five of these. Yeah. And none of them have been this clean. This is almost perfect. No scratches or dents anywhere inside. So pretty cool. We'll go through and put more windows in, maybe change these so that we have more lighting. And then there's the electrical box. So what I've read, these boxes on these, they're three ply, they're all aluminum, um, two and a half, three inches thick. They're insulated and the box itself is wired for 120, like, you know, normal home. I guess the military set it up where they could take that box off, leave it somewhere, um, war zone or something. That's pretty cool. Um, they have the spring mounted like that. So when you articulate or flex off road, you know, you're not going to warp up the box. Um, this designation, the 1079, is the van body, this truck. Um, its counterpart is the 1078, which is a flatbed. This 1079 weighs almost exactly 2,000 pounds more than the flatbed. Um, so the box is not all that heavy. Um, this truck is the, the AO or the A0, which was first generation. It's a Caterpillar 3116 engine. It's EMP proof, non-electronic. Um, so you don't get into any of that. Um, it is the lower horsepower, the 225 horsepower. Uh, but some of those diesel guys could, you know, turn the fuel pump up if that's needed. I don't think we need to get into any of that. But man, we're stoked. Uh, we're going to try to record the, the upfits and the build with you guys. If you're interested, let's hit that like button, subscribe. Um, we'll keep on giving you some content that you enjoy. All right, folks, take care. Ta-da.